so I have a lot of questions about my toolbox when I'm traveling, what I carry in it, how much does it weigh? And so I'm gonna make this video to show you what is actually in my toolbox. And it's not light, it usually, it varies between 65 to 80 pounds. For the most part, it, with just my tools alone, it's probably about 68 pounds. Um, but in some of the villages, we can't mail out parts, so I have to carry them with me. And either they're going to go in my backpack or they're going to go in the toolbox, which really increases the, the weight. So let's go through my toolbox and see what I carry. I have my, my tennis shoes because I have a lot of clunky boots whenever I'm traveling and so it's nice to have those to tromp around the clinics in rather than just uh, my my big winter boots and water boots or whatever I happen to be wearing it just depends and then I have this guy here which is my binder that holds the uh, database reports for what equipment I should be PMing and I keep other whatnots in there like PM stickers and um, pins and whatnot and then I also have this is a uh, digital pressure gauge basically that I use in the villages to oh man test different types of equipment from vital sign monitors to IV infusion pumps um, And I have all of the different types of connectors, different types of tubing that I have with me as well. Got my, my safety analyzer. And this one's an important guy that I use for, this is the one I carry with me. using for testing the grounding on different types of equipment, EKGs to, well, just anything really. This guy here is a defibrillator analyzer. And this is new. I was so excited about this because it is half the size of the older model. Now I had to look online for a case for this guy because they didn't make a, a small case available with the unit and the the one that came with it was a really big bulky one so it took a few different tries to to find the right size but I, I love this guy because it fits nicely in my my pack uh, or my toolbox this is what I use for testing x-rays and I really like this guy because um, it has this, this cable with it and I don't have to constantly walk back and forth in some scenarios to, to get my readings. And this is a, a little bag that I have that just has different connectors for my uh, my defib machine or my defib uh, analyzer. And so different types of connectors because I have, I'm dealing with different models and manufacturers. So got to carry this bag of goodies. And this bag here is for all of my, well, my collection of different types of uh, infusion uh, tubing that I need to carry with me because I'm dealing with all, all types of uh, infusion pumps. So this one is kind of dedicated to that. And then I have my multimeter. This one's a fluke. It does volts, amps, ohms and uh, temperature as well and 
And this one here, it's kind of a big bag for it. I, I think I'm going to look for a smaller bag, but this is my O2 uh, analyzer here that I use on the uh, oxygen concentrators. I've got my my box here for uh, a tachometer and a stopwatch that I carry with me. That's the tachometer that I carry. Let's see, this little bag here is, is really handy. It carries all sorts of, of uh, stickers that I might need in the field from, from these guys, repair required. My, my PM stickers, my no PM stickers, and um, just different types of stickers I might need for, for different types. There's one right there, but maybe one day I make a, a video just on the stickers that I carry with me. This guy here, my SIM cube. I, I use the stew out of this thing. Um, this is the SC5. It has really held up to the uh, the test of time here. Have my little SPO2 and pull socks there. I carry different calibration keys with me for different types of uh, thermometers. I've got a few different ones of those. This guy also has used for testing ACG on vital sign monitors and, and whatnot. And this box is a box of multiple things. Okay, it's got, I have my little weights that I carry with me for testing baby scales. Another thermometer tester that I carry with me. This guy here is a uh, another thermometer that I use for testing sterilizers out in the clinics. It's a holding thermometer. Now we, I've got a extension cord because it is difficult to find uh, outlets in these clinics. They're older clinics. Most of them are. And so there's not many. And if what you do find, even if it is being used, sometimes it's across the, uh, the room. So having that handy is, is nice. Oh, I, I carry this tool bag with me all the time. And in it, I kind of, I, I keep spare parts. So this is just a, uh, dental parts that I have. Um, for the most part, everything in here is going to be fairly generic stuff that the majority of the villages, uh, type of equipment that the majority of the villages have in, uh, in common and things that tend to break. So little aspirator tubing, you, you wouldn't believe the, the aspirator tubings, the availability of it, some more. More test stuff for dental. Little graduated cylinder for infusion pumps. And then I have another little bag within a bag. <laughs> I'm a bag person. Uh, that has, this is more or less, I use this for dental actually than anything. But, you know, um, there's some other 
equipment that I come across that I, I use these on too quite a bit. This is my little adjustable or my wrenches, mini wrenches. <laughs> Hemostats. I, I carry quite a few of these around there. They come in handy, especially in uh, dental. My uh, little needle nose and a little pick. This is great for getting off gaskets and this here is my, my teeny tiny wrench and I believe it or not I use this thing. Okay. That's it in that little bag for the most part. And then this here is my my really big tool bag. So this is where most of my weight um, <laughs> is at. Uh, I carry a lot of tools with me and this is a this is an old military tool bag that my brother got me years ago um whew, it's probably oh, it's almost 30 years ago it's almost 30 years ago so yeah telling my age there ain't i and then instead of carrying my my tools loose um i actually invested in these little bags and then i label I segregated everything out and labeled on the uh, the outside of each bag what it is, and so far it is really working out for me. Um, I will have to do a separate video on on all the different hand tools that I carry with me, but um, yeah, these are these have come in super handy, especially. Uh, in security, most of these airports are so small, they have to go through your bags manually, and so I don't lose as many of my tools. <laughs> but that's it. That's everything that I would typically carry with me in my toolbox when I'm going out to the villages.